Eve Growing presents Vermenting, a new vermiculture or worm farming method designed specifically for urban living. Vermenting opens up a new aspect of worm farming for urban living, turning most organic matter into rich soil amendments without the smell and difficulties found with traditional composting. Vermenting competes with hot composting most urban dwellers don't have room for. Vermenting is similar to fermenting only in the sense that the two words sound very similar and that both have a certain time limit when their process is complete. Vermenting is all about aeration, fermenting is not. The R in vermenting, of course, represents vermiculture. The silent N represents venting, which vermenting is all about introducing air into closed or sealed containment. This video goes along with my composting roll video and shows more reasons why the composting roll is a valuable asset to urban farming, a key component to Eve growing on many levels. In the composting roll video, we talked about breaking our organic matter down to the smallest possible pieces because the more surface area exposed on our organic matter, the faster it breaks down into rich soil amendments. And if you're doing vermiculture, it's easier for the worms to consume. We called this power composting. I used my power composter, which was simply a garbage disposal tied into two buckets. You can also chop your organic matter into small pieces as this process is not exact. I used my Ninja Blender at times, which works well. Then we talked about rolling our organic matter into a composting roll. The compost was our nitrogen, wet or green material, and the newspaper, paper bag, paper towels, cotton t-shirts we rolled our compost in was the carbon, dry or brown material. I'll add a link in the description to my composting roll video. Once it's in a composting roll, you add it to your vermenting or eave container, which could almost be anything you retrofit for vermenting. In this particular situation, I'm using a six gallon bucket. Here's a chimp bunk that drowned in our pool. You can ferment almost anything with this method by following these steps. Lay your carbon down, add some duff, and roll it up into a composting roll and add it to your vermenting container. It's that easy. I ferment my so-called dog's waste. I put it on a carbon, throw some duff on it, roll it up into a composting roll, and put it into my Eve fermenting container. It really is that easy. So my dog kills an adult squirrel this summer. Um, I'm hoping that it's the squirrel that was biting off all my light bulbs or some of my light bulbs on my outside lighting, about, about five of them. I was looking out my slider window and I saw the squirrel biting the light bulb. So I'm hoping this is the squirrel. I haven't seen any more light bulbs being bitten off, so the chances are good that this squirrel is the one my dog had killed. So as I contemplated this little creature's existence with the powers to be, I rolled them up into a carbon. I didn't um, add duff this time, but there's always duff in the bucket that helps, um, that gives the worms the, um, the grit that they need for the digestive system. And I rolled this one up very nice and in, tightly in newspaper, and I forgot to mark the fermenting container that I put it in, so I never saw it again. I never saw which one. I've emptied all the ones, I, all the containers I was fermenting, and I never saw this squirrel again. It turned into rich organic soil. And that's what the process of fermenting does. Here is a small possum roadkill that I picked up and fermented. Rolled them up into a carbon and I put this guy into my dog's manure fermenting. What I was fermenting my dog manure in, I added this small guy to it as well. And at the end of it, there was very little remaining. No bones, very little bones. It was a few, I would say, but not much at all. If I let it go longer, they'd probably all be gone. And here's a bigger possum that I'm fermenting now that he got his own personal fermenting bin. He was so big. So I put him in carbon. 
uh, threw them in a fermenting container, threw a, a thousand worms on them, and I'll keep you posted. I'll do a um, fermenting bucket review on that one. So here's basically what's going on here, guys. This is just the regular household compost that we rolled up into composting rolls, and we layer it like you would a lasagna. You put your rolls down, put a layer of duff, add another roll layer, composting roll layer, add your duff, With inside the container is aeration. It's a sealed container for the most part. Nothing gets in, nothing gets out, yet it's it's contained. There's no smell, and you just layer it like this. And when you're done with it, and you add your red wigglers to it, you cap it and leave it. And it defies what we know to be understood with vermiculture that they're top feeders. These guys will go all the way to the bottom. They'll work their way from the top and eat their way down to the bottom. Six to eight weeks, sometimes sooner, depending on what you're composting and how many worms you add will determine how quick this process goes. You add these worms to the top, the top layer being a layer of duff, then you add your composting worms this here, I think there's probably about 2,000, I would say, huh? Or more. Add those, you cap it, and then you leave it. That's the beauty about fermenting. You cap it and leave it. You don't have to worry about the carbon-nitrogen ratio. Then you can stack these containers up, having multiple worm farms going at once. And when you're done, this is pretty much what the compost looks like. Notice the number two on that fermenting container. Now, this is all worm castings now. Whatever I put in here has turned into worm castings. And I'm going to dump it out to show you what it looks like. Not only are you gonna get worm castings, you're gonna get a bunch more worms with a lot of worm eggs to be added to your vermiculture farm. There is no smell at all and no flies want to get at it and this is the heat of the day with the would-be flies around. I could leave that out all day and no flies care to even go at that which is kind of amazing in its own right. So we can folks we can compost anything any organic matter whatever it is you should take a second look at. We could eliminate this from going into our landfills in urban settings. That's the beauty about Fermenting. It's designed specifically for urban farming. Now, you remember I talked about that number two that was on that fermenting container? This, folks, is human ore. Human ore. We are going to be doing other videos on this subject, so stay tuned.